All right, so have you seen Who the Blank Did I Marry Yet? No, I have not. It's a series of about 50 TikTok videos. Over eight hours long. Uh, People are bonkers about this. About a woman in Atlanta who goes by uh, Risa Tisa online. Talks about how she met this guy back in uh, 2020. How they fell in love, eventually married. I'm going to create this playlist series and I'm going to tell the story of how I met, dated, married, and divorced a real pathological liar. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, oh, wait till you hear some of this. This wow. is my introduction slash disclaimer video. First and foremost, I'm going to be truthful, even if it makes me look bad. I'm going to be honest but I'm also not going to be disrespectful to anyone that was involved. Mm -hmm. None of this is funny, but in order to get through it, I have to laugh. If I cry, I cry. I'm human. I'm a woman. This was traumatic. Yeah. So So uh, this is one woman's story. Yeah. And over 200 million combined views so far in this series. So people have seen it. So, so she talks about, the fake phone calls. Things that my pathologically lying ex-husband lied about. Every morning he would get on the phone with his brother. He talked to his friends every day in front of me. He would be on the phone laughing, cutting up like a normal conversation. I didn't think anything of it. Every single phone call was made up. Made up? Yeah, she continues. He was never on the phone. What? The phone calls where he called to pay his car off, made up. (laughs) What in the world? Why? Listen, listen, this is wild. Listen. The phone call to the realtor when we were looking at houses, made up. Yep. What? The phone call to the bank for them to release the money for the house that he signed his name for. Mm Mm-hmm. Made up. Oh, my goodness. Every phone call was made up. His brother every day, he and his brother had not spoken since 2015 when his mother died. Ooh. He had no friends, but yet every phone call would be my friend this, my friend that. So he was just like creating this fake life. World, yeah, yeah. Like the, to present to her, making all her these, think that he's got all these people all in these his things life. things happening. And, and all the, oh my gosh. Um, made up his job. The second lie, his job. He told me when I first met him out the gate that he was a VP at his company. He had been transferred from California to Georgia. His job was VP of a major condiment company. Okay. A major condiment company. Sure. And he maintained that lie every day. I mean. Truth is, he was a temp. He was a temp. He called me from work all the time. Mm Mm-hmm. And he would pretend to reprimand employees who couldn't see that he had a bluetooth thing in his ear he would pretend to reprimand them in front of me so he's on the phone calling her from quote work and pretending that he is uh, like being a boss reprimanding employees right in front of her while she's on the phone so much effort I know. All a lot of lies. A lot of brain power to keep yes. up on those lies for sure. He would pretend to take phone calls from the company president who needed his help on something. Of course. He forged emails that he showed me from the company president. Forged emails. Wow. I know. Asking him, you know, we need to get this up and running. We need to do this project. We need to do that. But he was a temp. He was a temp forklift driver. There's nothing wrong with a forklift driver. But he was pretending to be a VP. Yep. I I like what she said there. She's like, look, there's nothing wrong with being a... disrespect, yes. Right, right. But But when you're pretending to be a VP... Wow. Then that's an issue. This is uh, from the TikTok series, Who the Blank Did I Marry? Um, And it's absolutely wild about this woman who talks about how she met this guy eventually ma- married him, then found out that he was a pathological liar. Lying Here- about everything. All right, so here's the last one I want to share with you right now. Uh, the third lie, the money for a house. Third lie, housing. Okay. He told me he was looking to buy a house. We started looking at houses. He showed me paperwork from Chase Bank saying that he was approved for a mortgage for 750000 All right. Okay. Yeah. I watched 
as he put in an all cash offer. Okay. On this $699,000 house. I watched him sign his name to a legally binding document for an all cash offer. Legally, I was not his wife, so I was not on the mortgage for that home. <laughs> uh, okay, so this... me thinks it eventually came out he had no cash for that offer? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is That's absolutely insane. insane. That is bonkers. And, and to think about how he could fabricate all that and still have it keep it all straight in his yes. brain is impressive. Use that for good. I mean, it had to <laughs> unravel at some point because she's now yeah, aware right, 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 right. of all of the lies. Um, but my goodness, imagine if he would have taken all of that effort and brain power to actually try to get a yeah, career. Be, right. It sounds like he's very detail oriented. So <laughs> yeah, that's something that he <laughs> yeah, can he add to his resume. That's right. that's right. I mean, listen, he has some skill set. Listen, I, I don't want to use this as an excuse, but if you are currently little white lying it to your partner right now, might be an opportunity to come clean and just say, not hey, let it spiral out of control like this. Hey, at least I'm not this guy. And oh. then show your partner the TikToks. There you go. <laughs> and say, hey, can you believe this guy? Hey, hey, you know what? I may have accidentally uh, bought this jet ski without you knowing. But did you see what this guy but did? But did you see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now's a good opportunity. Just come clean. Yep. But then roll in with this to make it feel like not so bad. Yeah. We'll uh we'll tweet this out so you can see it at Ben and Kelly show. That but is yeah. Stunning. But she is going to how much therapy is she gonna have to go through to like not automatically assume that anyone else that she tries to date after this is gonna be lying to her extensively. Oh, I know. It's yeah. I mean and it's not fair to the new person would be like, you need to prove everything. <laughs> I know, right? Because I would feel like I want to go her, to your job everything. with you. Yes. Right. And I like, need to meet what? your boss. <laughs> I need to meet your parents. I need to meet your brother. And, and, and not only that, day. I need to see their ID. Exactly. And see that they are really who they Have say they are. birth certificates. I need to see your employment <laughs> agreement. <laughs> Insane. Wow. At Ben and Kelly show. You can see it there.